Wondering Weekends Official Campground Review, Watson Mill Covered Bridge State Park near Comer, Georgia. All right, guys, just in case this is your first time with us, we break our campground reviews down into six different categories, and the six categories are as follows. Accessibility, scenery, atmosphere, value, comforts, and kid-friendly. Accessibility at Watson Mill Covered Bridge State Park is not very good, but keep in mind we have a 32-foot travel trailer, so you guys that are in pop-ups and 16-footers, you should be fine. But as far as the bigger campers are concerned, there's some tight turns in the campground, one of which you can probably see coming up on the video right now. The pull-throughs are very awkward. Uh, if they wanted to do, have them appropriate for larger campers, they would have to trim some trees, which I don't know if I'd really want them to do that. You basically have to back into some of the pull-throughs, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And the dump station is really uneven. I had to actually pull the truck up onto the Anderson leveling blocks, so the, the trailer would be at an appropriate uh, level to dump my tanks. So accessibility for Watson Mill is a three. The scenery at Watson Mill is not bad, but it's not good either. It's just woods. Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. The bridge itself is actually about a three-quarter mile hike from the campground. Scenery score to five. On to atmosphere. The staff friendliness did not help this score. It didn't really hurt it either. We just had a couple of awkward encounters with staff friendliness. They the staff was not very attentive, I guess I should say. They weren't rude, but they were not attentive either. The size of the campsites are actually pretty good. They're just hard to get into, so that was a kind of a, a draw there. It was not good or bad. And then we did experience some odd situations. We had one situation the Saturday night we were there where there was a group of Boy Scouts there. They were a little bit older, and they just took free reign over our campsite. I mean, literally running through our campsite, not around it, through it. Um, touching our camping chairs while we're sitting by the campfire. We were kind of just looking at each other bewildered as if to think, how does anyone think this is okay? Uh, the last straw was basically they were hiding under our slide out and they were grabbing our ladder trying to get around the corner of our camper and moving our camper. This was at like 11 o'clock at night while we have two kids asleep. So I didn't want Mama Bear getting upset about that and I was starting to get a little upset myself. Uh, so Needless to say, atmosphere wasn't that great. It scored a three. On to value, I think we will officially change this category to cost in the next campground review, but for this campground review, it's still called value. Uh, this is just like any other state park, the $32 to $35 per night cost, and it scores a five on value. Our fifth category is comforts. There's not a whole lot to do around the state park. It is a state park, so you do have some canoe rentals. They, they have some paddle boat rentals. There is, is a hike to the covered bridge, which is really cool. You, the, if you watch our video on the, this trip, you'll see the, the power plant ruins as well. But there's not much else. We did eat in Comer at a place called Maggie's. We only had uh, appetizers at Maggie's. They were pretty good. They had some of the best cake I have ever eaten and I'm a Georgia Southern boy I've eaten some really good cake and let me tell you Maggie's knows how to do it Brooke had carrot cake I had lemon cake and Townley had some cookies and cream cake and all three of them were very good all of this combined comforts at score to four and finally our favorite category just as I always say is kid friendly man the fact that the play the uh, campground did not have a playground really crushed this score it's one of uh, Townley and Beckett's favorite things to do is play on the playground. They did not have a playground available at the campground. They did have one on the uh, one, the opposite side of the visitor center of the covered bridge. I think there was one over there, but that was almost a three-quarter of a mile hike, so obviously they can't go there. Uh, the recreation for kids, they had a little bit of hiking. That was about it. They did have a, a good demographic of campers. We did have some kids similar to their age, and they made friends like they almost always do. So that was good. And the campground traffic wasn't bad, so that helped the score a little bit. But the fact that they didn't have a playground really crushed it. It scored a four on Kid Friendly. When it's all said and done, Watson Mill scored a 24. Not a great score. I really hate giving our, one of our beautiful state parks a score like this, but... We just did not have a good experience as far as those kids running through our campsites and the accessibility was kind of tough. 
So it's still camping, so it's still good, but it's really a tough score. So the, the bridge by itself, however, is beautiful. The grounds around the bridge are awesome. The shoals are cool. I would definitely recommend going to Watson Mill Covered Bridge State Park, maybe for a day. I'm just not so sure that with the experience we've had that I would recommend it for camping. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And join us over at Instagram at the handle you see on your screen.